Welcome to The Quest Within. I'm Theology, your host. Nathan is sitting this episode out again, but with me today, I have a friend that I met through 2DCon who goes by Maida, and we have a really great conversation about video game music and how it relates to mental health. Yeah, for whatever reason, I didn't even mention the fact that I met Julianne Grasso's cousin in an Uber ride. Uh, Julianne is somebody that did her PhD dissertation on how video game music positively affects us, and I don't know why I didn't mention her. I just didn't think about it. I don't know. The conversation went there, but like, I don't know. That just proves to you the depth and the width of this topic is that I didn't even go to one of the most obvious things that I should have gone to. (laughs) But anyways, the next video in the series is about uh, Tetris and how that relates to real life. But the next video games and mental health video will literally be me sort of picking apart her dissertation and my comments on it and 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 other sources in, in the world but it is funny how we never touched on that despite talking about this the whole time without further ado here is my conversation with meta this is the quest within What do you want to talk about today? Uh, we were about to talk about Apple stuff and Apple music. Stuff. Yeah, we were because I was Cause uh, talking about like what you're going to put the podcast on. And stuff. Yeah, Cause right. I had questions. I and had questions. we uh, so you noticed my Mac collection. Yeah, it's, it's great. I love it <laughs> thank so you. Much. I have 25 Macs. If any of you want to get rid of a Mac, I will buy it. Um, I might. <laughs> actually, Mac Pro. I got a Mac Pro 2013. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. <laughs> Seriously, like, yeah, I, I need mean, a new, because you can see my iMac, or my Power Mac G5 over there. Yeah. And that is, I love that, but, like, a Mac Pro would be, I have, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's the trash can. Oh, 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 you have that one. I have the trash can, yeah. Oh, shit, okay, even cooler. Yeah. All right, well, anyways. It works pretty well still. Yeah. It's just, we, it's getting a little old for, like, doing, like, broadcasting stuff. Okay. Yeah, but yeah we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk. Well. Uh, so, anyways, I was about to say that I love old Apple because you were saying, like, oh, yeah, everybody's like, I hate Apple. My yeah, Lord. yeah. You know, modern Apple kind of pisses me off. Yeah. Um, I think that Steve Jobs would hate what happened to his company. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Um, I would so agree with that. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm kind of a hypocrite because I use only Apple products, but I'm just so tied Look, into their I ecosystem. Call it, I call it the Fisher Price of computers because <laughs> it's so easy to use. It is. It really It is, is. incredibly easy to use, especially the phones, too. Yeah. Because you don't have to be, like, go through, like, 20 different menus just to see, like, one setting or something no you know? for sure yeah that's so, so true so it's just it's simple i'm like this is easy for stupid people like me I'm yeah. okay <laughs> i like that i mean hey that makes two of us i guess yep. but you know we already established that i'm dumber because you know oh my god i can't <laughs> pronounce shit in spanish anyways uh <laughs> no but i can I actually like i know restaurant spanish <laughs> Because I like I worked in you restaurants worked restaurant, for so long, so, yeah, yeah, yep. for like eleven years, and yeah. so like I mean, we I think Nathan and I, we Nathan, my podcast partner, he was my chef for a while, oh, and so cool. that's how we met. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyways, I love food. So. So that said, um, no, no, no. What do you really want to talk about today? I don't know. It's no, no, no. Random. You said video game music. I did music. say video yes. game music. I did. Yes. Yeah. Because I, I know that talk... you you always make it, and it's always fun to listen to. Thank you. <laughs> So, I mean, video game music is only appropriate, and, you know, we both have a passion for that stuff. Yeah, exactly. I don't create it. I just enjoy it. And that's okay, because we need creators and we need consumers. Otherwise, nothing works, right? If everyone's a creator, everyone... Yeah. Yeah, if everyone's a creator, then whatever. But if everyone's a consumer, no one's creating, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we need both. But, okay, well... Some of your favorite soundtracks, then. Hit me. Right now. Ooh, I like that you say right now instead of just of all time. But yeah, right now and then do all time because I want to hear. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Right now, though. I mean, it's been like this for the last four years almost. There's going to be Streets of Rage 4. I will always say that. I never stop. I never stop with Streets of Rage 4. (laughs) 2 is also really good. Yes. Um, I mean, we, you know, the Dreamer track. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, you ever heard the soundtrack for Brave Fencer Musashi? You ever no, played that game? I have not. I've never even heard of it. Oh, what is it? It's a you Square gotta tell Enix me. game. Well, Squaresoft game from 1998, I Love think. Love that. Uh, two, not 2D. It's 3D adventure platform. Former like game. So like maybe 
uh, what's that game? Um, Terraria? Like, that's kind no, of a... No, not like that. Okay. Not like... Or you said 3D adventure yeah, platformer. 3D Sorry, adver- so like Mario 64 or something. Kind of, just not as okay. fast-paced. But Got it's, it. It's, it's, it's an RPG, too, so it's yeah. got RPG elements, and oh my god. That's cool. That soundtrack. Check that soundtrack out. It okay. It is one of my all-time favorite soundtracks. Definitely send me a link or something, because what you said was in Japanese, and I already forgot what you said, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she didn't. All right, why do you like video game music so much? Oh, why do I? You ever just kind of like you know back in the day you ever just sit down and you have your nes or your snes whatever console you have and you just pop it in and you just hear those bleeps and bloops yeah yeah oh yeah that's why i like it so much dude it's the best it is it's something i think it's my adhd brain or something but (laughs) it just satisfies that it gives a good tingle that i'm just like i can roll with this i love this and so i just sit and like play soundtracks like in the sound test modes yeah yeah like on the actual like games themselves yeah that's dedication i know in ninja gaiden you had to do input a code i don't remember the code but there was a code to get the sound test. Ugh. I love when games used to be that way. Right? Right? Like, they they didn't really hold your hand. No. I just did a video about death and how that teaches us to live um, in, in video games, yeah, of course. Yeah. And, yeah, that that's a point I made is, like, they didn't really hold your hand as much back they then. Because you, you had to, like, put in a code to get the sound test, yeah. even. Like, yeah. you had to know. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I just, I think that's so tight about old video games. Yeah, no, because... I miss those days though too. I miss codes, you know, now we just have them in reference, yeah. but they never, but they never, <laughs> they never, you know, they're not, there's nothing useful for them. They're, they don't do anything for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, there's a few like in, um, what is it? You ever play Hardcore Uprising is on PS3, Xbox 360? Um, I did not. It is a Contra spinoff. Oh, okay, cool. Contra spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great music Best. there too. Oh yeah. Um and there's in the beginning of the in the first stage, loading stage, right? Mm-hmm. You input the Konami code and then you'll get this let's rock kind of like, like thing. And then after that it plays like a super hardcore metal version of like the original like Contra theme from NES. It's so badass. Yeah, that's so sick. That's your first stage music for like, oh, oh, I love oh my that. god. <laughs> Just That's anything, amazing. anything that can tingle my head, like just with that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And there is a certain just like energy that video game music gives it and does. only video game music yeah. gives it. Yep. And I've never really felt that energy from anything else. Like even electronic music, you know, yeah. I mean, a lot of I mean, video game music is generally electronic music. Right? right. So but like you listen to like house music or you listen, you know, just party EDM mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, it doesn't hit right not i shouldn't say it doesn't hit right because it does hit right it yeah but i know what good. you mean it doesn't hit the same yes right and i suppose that's my i guess mission and doing what i do is yeah. trying to make those worlds collide yes. and yeah yep. but yep and that's what you need that is that blend of it is just it makes it just so i could just float it you know <laughs> that's that's what it is it's such a nice yeah. floaty feeling no matter what you could be just chilling sitting down you know drawing shit or something or just working you just listen to that and it just i don't know for me it sends me off to like woo. Yeah, yeah. You know? Actually, I gave an Uber ride uh, to a guy a few days ago who said that he put on, um, oh, which soundtrack was it? Shoot, I don't remember, but it was a game I had heard of that I love. I think it was an RPG of some sort. And he put that on to, like, focus and do his work. And I was mm-hmm. like, dude, that's, like, what I do all the time. I know, right? Even before I started really, like, producing VGM, like, full time. Uh, I was doing a job at the time where I wrote resumes for executives, mm-hmm. which horrible for my mental health. I've talked about that oh, a lot, yeah. whatever, but it made me very classes too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, but when I was doing that job, I would literally put on a playlist on YouTube called Nintendo space music. And it was just all the like outer space themes and like, like you ethereal had to have the duck shit. One, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But yeah, it was like a lot of stuff from like Mario galaxy mm. And Xenoblade Ooh. and like uh yeah, just all these great there was even like Captain Toad's Adventure stuff in there. Really? Like, I haven't yeah. heard that one yet. I haven't yeah. played that one yet. I haven't either, but I just know the song because it was right. in that playlist. I like the Mario Galaxy soundtrack though. Oh, that it's one, so that good. one's really it gives you a lot of goosebumps, you know. Yeah. It's just it's really cool. Yeah. You'll you'll hear a remix of that in the future very soon for oh, me because yeah. I got booked for a gig in actually in Columbia Heights. No. Oh. Yeah, really? yeah, it's on Central. Um, it's called Afterglow, but the theme is like Space Symphony. Okay. And literally Mario Galaxy is right. a Space Symphony. It is. 
<laughs> yeah, like that whole <laughs> so soundtrack. Right oh, it's so good. Right on. So yeah, I got to make something for yeah. that, obviously. But yeah, anyway, so okay. So yeah, we have established a love for video game music, Absolutely. certain soundtracks. How does it help you with your mental health? Let's talk about that because I could talk about that for days. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm sort of making a job out I of mean, that. But, yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> but It's just a good sense of calm for me, you mm-hmm. know? Like a lot of people listen to like, you know, just pretty calming music. Me, it's like I need high energy video game music and yeah. I'm it's just it calms me down because my mind goes everywhere and then I hear this stuff and it's just like I can follow along to it. It's easy to like bop to, I guess you could say. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> it is. I, it I is. Would say and that. then like my favorite thing to do is I like to just make up lyrics to songs. So you're like uh, you're like Brennel Floss, yeah. Yeah, I like ad libbing on it. It's fun. I love that. And it just it makes me happy. It always yeah. makes me happy every time you hear a good track. It just it brings up the what is it the endorphins or yeah yeah yep, yeah, yep, yeah. There uh-huh, you go. Yeah. It brings those up and just or boom, serotonin yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And it's just like oh this is amazing and especially mm. if it's just like one of the like there's there's got to be a track that you listen to and then it just makes you feel so overwhelmed with like bliss yeah secret of the forest by chrono trigger yeah or in chrono trigger yep by that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. there's for me it's uh there's a few of them but one of them is uh sonic the hedgehog three and knuckles yeah dude hydro city act two have you heard my remix of that i have not yet what i know <laughs> I was oh my looking gosh. for it. I was going to look for it. I was like, I was like oh, my God. oh my God, where is it? I got to see it, you know, and I never found it, so I need to hear it. So. Because that is my all-time favorite. Really? Uh, theme for video game music is Sonic 3 and Knuckles Hydro City Zone. That's incredible. Act 2. Okay, so, yeah, Act 2, exactly. Act two. So, funny story. First off, A, yes, I have a remix of that. B, it's one of my best. C, uh, my nephew, who is seven, designed the album art for it. Oh, I saw your post about that. Yeah. That's adorable. I love that. And D, I may or may not have just made a mashup of that song and Move Bitch by Ludacris. <laughs> And you'll That's hear incredible. it. Yeah, and you'll hear it if you come to the show at the Uptown VFW oh my on God. Saturday. Oh but, my God. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll just show you after this. You That's don't have to come shit, to that. Though. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's that. hilarious. I went on this kick of like yesterday. Literally, this happened all yesterday. Yeah. I went on this kick of like, I'm gonna combine two really weird nostalgic things for me which is video game music my remixes and old school hip-hop and i made like five mashups with my vgm one there was one other song it was like a me channel remix i I love the me channel music and the we shot music like people putting those in tiktoks and stuff is the most hilarious thing ever i I love it so so much when i first started hearing that because like i don't really i post on tiktok but i do it through the browser because scrolling on that app is terrible for my mental health so i don't do it yeah i know my limits right but like uh maddie is constantly on tiktok and like i'll hear that and the first time i heard it i was like babe you know that's vgm right because <laughs> she's not really a nerd and so uh-huh. yeah anyways for me personally i i tend to argue and i do this in all of my youtube shorts that video game music heals if we let it yeah why how can i support this idea uh well i personally think i'm gonna say what i think and then i want to yeah, hear what yeah, you think so video game music when we hear it it sort of unlocks this like state in our brain where we're like a kid again yeah and there's this sense of like innocence to it and it reminds us of simpler times when we did not have so much responsibility it's a wonderful escape there's a reason why one of the most uh consumed videos on youtube of the song sticker bush symphony it just has this one picture like you know it if you see it on youtube in the thumbnail but the comment section is all these people talking about their struggles in life and then comments like on those posts about like hey this is what helped me through that it's a whole community of people like talking to each other and trying to help each other out and it's all centered around sticker bush symphony cool crazy right yeah that is I, love I that. like I love that that is a thing. Yeah. I've never seen that in any other kind of musical thread Huge ever. Sense of community and love and support. Yeah, it's amazing. And now that's not to say that other kinds of music, you know, can't foster this, right? right? But video game music is so like passed over on and it's so slept on that I feel like people don't really realize the kind of power it has. It does. And that's why I am doing what I'm doing, yeah. trying to combine the two, you know, video game remixes and mental health because they complement each other so well. Yeah, so that's sort of where I'm at with how I think video game music relates to mental health. What about you? <sighs> I mean, you really drove the point there. It's those are really good points. But for me, I I I don't know. For me, I just 
see it mostly for the energy. Okay, just to yeah, hype yeah. myself up. That's what yeah. I do with video game music. No matter what the situation is, if I hear it, I'm I feel good about myself. I feel like I could do anything almost, you know? Dude, right. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't know. The he- like the more retro sounding it is, the more I get into it, the more mm. I'm just like it really influences me to be creative. That's awesome. that's a big thing for me. Yeah. You know, so I have a whole playlist of like soundtracks oh yeah another great soundtrack street fighter ex if you ever heard that okay one, that's ex great. okay yeah, street sweet ex the, the ex series music oh my god <laughs> oh, so good I, I love how many fighting games you reference i yeah. love fighting you're games. you're like the fighting game master though I like i learned that at games. a 2d con a couple years ago anyways <laughs> <laughs> i love fighting games. yeah <laughs> but yeah it's it's mostly the energy though the energy and then the, just the how it gives me that motivation to be able to like want want to create and want to you know make the most badass art that i could possibly love make. that yeah i just like it, it just fits with the whole badass thing i yeah. know that's what art, that's my that's my aesthetic so art begets art yeah yeah mm-hmm. no i love that um you mentioned something that uh struck me as interesting you said uh, uh, way earlier that you have adhd so listening to energetic vgm calms you yeah now i feel like for most people and i guess this is from my perspective right so i'm only one person but i constantly see these compilations on youtube that are like relaxing video game music to study to yeah. or to relax to or like whatever i'm thinking about making a playlist that's like i don't want to relax i want to get hype here's some video game music yeah, for that no, or something seriously. like that you, you know you need to and if you're gonna have that list though you'll have to include the commodore 64 version of robocop okay <laughs> okay that is a fucking amazing soundtrack <laughs> I listen you. to that soundtrack a lot of commodore 64 or zx spectrum music soundtracks Mwah. okay so, so good listen to them you're a connoisseur i am i like that back in the day i would listen to video game music on do you remember vg music yep. dot was it dot net or dot com i think I, it was dot com i think it was dot com i also listened a lot to oc remix oh yeah for org. sure that one for sure i literally on my desktop i have their entire discography nice. like the whole it's like 3500 songs Jeez. and i'm sifting through it slowly to see what is club ready yeah so far there's only been like there 100 tracks one but that I, yeah that i heard back in the day oh i think it was like 2004 2005 and it's from ninja gaiden okay and it was called party ninja Ooh. That is the hype right there. I probably have it. You most likely do. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do listen to that, it's, it, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of old, but man, is it, it's got that build up and, oh, you know, and I just, it's, the chords it's, and melodies, they're so unique. Yes, they're so unique they to are, VGM, they right? They are. You don't hear anything like that you don't, um, and in, like, in other genres. No, you don't. And a lot of games nowadays, too, they get too epic, like movie soundtrack, like, mm-hmm. so it all just mushes together oh my god okay i've never met anybody else who shares this opinion uh-huh. right like okay i'm playing final fantasy 16 right now yeah and it's great right. okay there are a couple good songs that have a decent like melody to them but a lot of it just feels like yeah like empty orchestrations yeah and like there's a right way to do orchestration like super mario galaxy monster and galaxy hunter. 2 did it right monster hunter okay monster i've never hunter heard that. Does that their music is mostly orchestrated stuff but oh, there's so much like character to that stuff so cool, much yeah. just variety and like just the style and oh my god i love so, monster hunter music too there is a right way to do there orchestration is. right yeah. and yeah i feel like modern games just aren't getting it right yeah i feel that too and it's really sad to me because you know the earworms that came out of old games like they're abundant yeah and i don't feel like that is in modern games yeah for sure other than i guess well is i don't know i've never played monster hunter is that more modern or That's, yeah it's been around okay. since it's they're celebrating their 20th anniversary this got year. it okay but uh, yeah, it's been around for, for a while, and it's what 2007 is when it started. Okay. Uh, there's a new one coming out next year, and Monster Hunter Rise is the most current one. That right now, that's my favorite soundtrack is Monster Hunter Rise. Cool. That's the it's so good because it mixes like it's got that Japanese like folklore kind of style. Yeah. And then it just adds that orchestrated music. It's a good combo. That's it's cool. a great combo, and you can you can hear like a uniqueness to that. Yeah. As opposed to like you said, the empty just. Yeah, yeah, just the blended. blase yeah. like orchestration uh, i don't know so good and like i love orchestral music so yeah, i don't I know do how that. that it's like possible to like have all this music in these games that just feels empty right it's so weird to me yeah but you know again like i love orchestral music there is a way to do it right mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. super Mario galaxy monster hunter like there is a way to do it right so i wish i don't know triple a studios who will never listen to this right it's always get AAA on studios. your come get on, on guys. shit yeah, yeah <laughs> like, come, on, come guys. on like you can do it hire some people who make earworms you yeah, know because that's what I we that's what we want that's what the people want yes yeah because video games 
uh like the music is so vital to them like can you imagine playing video games if they didn't have music that would be weird it'd be like pong right bloop 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 <laughs> that's it yeah yeah that's it I'd be i know yeah it'd be dumb you need the music you need it it's just a, such an integral part of of what games are i feel like and yeah, if you don't have that, it's kind of empty. Yeah. You know what a good modern game? Well, can you even consider it modern? Probably not, but I have it right there. It's called Persona 5. Hell yeah, Persona 5. Yeah. That is a great soundtrack. Oh too. my God. I've That's never heard so anything good. like it, to be honest. So good. Yeah, like it's so jazzy yeah. all the time. Oh, and I'm like, man, oh my so gosh, good. dude. Are the other. So I've only played five. <laughs> yes, I know, right? Oh, yeah, it's so it's good. So I actually have a remix of Beneath the Mask started nice. that I'm going to make into like a you mega collab. You need to do Price from 5. That is yeah. my favorite one. That's that would be the, good. I think that was the Bank Dungeon. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, uh-huh. that yeah, yeah. dude. That, yeah. Yeah, the lender by bank guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was his name? I forget that dude's name. I don't remember. But his uh, his dungeon, that, that track. Yeah, I can hear it in my head. Yeah. It's just so good. And you can just go like this, you know, to it. And it just fits. And... I'm hearing that like in the, my slower style. Have you ever heard of the Persona dancing games? <laughs> no, but I'm not shocked that they exist. There's three of them. What? Yeah, what are they for? They're for the, they're on, P- I think they're on PlayStation 4. Four. Okay. But they uh, the first uh, one, the first one originally came out on the Vita. Okay. And then they released, because the first one was Persona 4 Dancing. Okay. Which is amazing. They, they, they remix some of the songs from the games yeah. and stuff, and it's just, oh, again, beautiful. Yeah, right. <laughs> some really good mixes. So I've only played five, right? Yep. Do all the other Persona games have the sort of similar, like, vibe to yeah. what five has with the soundtrack? I okay, think that's five really cool. is more out there, though. Five oh, okay. definitely went more out there. Huh. But, yeah, the music is really good. Like, Persona 3, the battle music, holy shit. <laughs> okay, that is good to know. Yeah, it's really the, good. The it's, battle music in this one is amazing. It's got the but... brass in there. Okay, and I was okay. Like, baby, baby, baby. I'm That's just like, hilarious. I'm fighting. <laughs> I, of course, know Burn My Dread because I've remixed that yeah. with Lacey Johnson. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know really anything else, I think, from 3. Yeah, 3 is... It's play reloaded. That's the new. That's the okay. remake. That the came one out. for Switch. Yeah. yeah okay. Play Sounds that one. good. It's uh three is really good. I, I'd say it's not my favorite, but okay. it's still really damn good. Cool. Four yeah, is cool. my fave though. Okay. Like, Persona Four is my favorite. All right. Why? Why? I feel like I like the small town setting. Okay. It takes place yeah, yeah. small town. Um, murder mystery. I mean, the other ones kind of murder mystery, but not quite murder mystery. But yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, m- murder mystery, and then also there's a few characters that were uh that. It's they kind of have their own like coming out stories. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. that's what Persona is. Everybody you know realizes their true selves and yeah, stuff. But right, which is a reason I love it. Yeah, yeah. and there's uh, like there's one character in four, two characters actually. One of them is super badass, manly, macho, bike gang like bully kind of guy. But he yeah. likes he likes cute things. He likes Aww. to make cute little plushes. <laughs> he likes and, kawaii. Yeah. yeah, and his dungeon was people always assumed his sexuality and stuff. And it's just like just let me be me. I don't you know. And, wow. And his whole team just accepts him and stuff. It's it's cool. And then another one is it tackles uh trans identities as well. So with one of the other characters oh who I, 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 I identify with this character so hard and it's just when I played their dungeon, I bawled my eyes out. That's amazing. There's a lot of emotion with it. And Dang. if they remake four, I feel like they need to kind of well, I've heard. I've heard yeah. they're doing it. But okay, cool. if they do though, I feel like they should probably rework a little bit of those stories just a little bit because I mean it was back in two thousand eight. Yeah, sure. You know, so times have changed a bit right. since then. I mean it may not seem like it was that long ago, but Well no, I feel like the world has evolved a lot, a lot in the in past such a short like time. ten yeah. years. Yep. Yeah. And so, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Is some bit. of it out of touch then? A little bit. Yeah, okay. I would say so okay. for sure. Yeah. If yeah, if they re- remake it, I, I can see them definitely reworking it to be more positive for sure. Yeah, that would be really. I mean, cool. it is. It is like you know, with the whole relationship thing, and for you know this this trans character, you can choose. They, they you have a conversation with them about like, do you think you know I want to be comfortable with this? So, you know, should I present as a girl? Should I present as a boy? And yeah. Stuff. It's, it's interesting. And That's you get, awesome. You get the choice. You know. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, you did say some of it is a little out of touch, but, like, how ahead of its time that was, right? Like, I respect that so much. Atlas are such amazing developers. Like, oh, it's crazy. And what I love about this is that, like, we started talking about the music Mm -hmm. because it's amazing. Exactly. And now we're talking about how, like, you know, 
the games themselves how like, they're like social commentary impacted you yeah, yeah exactly like, like i did a video about five actually yeah um i did it mostly about uh yusuke hmm. and how him being an artist uh and i i related it to a whole bunch of stuff but i i did definitely go on a rant in that video about like like the one percent and how like executives are ruining gaming because it's all about microtransactions mm-hmm. and it's not about like actually like making art anymore yeah. Yeah. you know but like those guys yeah. oh my gosh yeah. have they made anything modern like in the past like five years or so uh, they have a new rpg coming out i know that do you know what it's called? I completely forgot what That's it's okay. called. No worries. They got, it got announced, like, during a Nintendo Direct, I think. Oh, okay. Like, nice. a few months ago, but I don't That's remember. Cool. But it's more, it's not the urban kind of RPG that Persona usually is. Mm-hmm. This one's more fantasy. Oh, okay. Fantasy RPG, but it's like, got, like... Like a, medieval? Yeah, or? Okay, like that. Cool. Yeah, with, like, you know, creatures and magic and stuff like that. Nice. And, like, again, the UI for that game is just gorgeous because, you know, Persona games have really nice user yes. interfaces. And you're yes, just like, oh, do. my God, it's beautiful. Yeah. But I'm really excited <laughs> to hear the music for this game too awesome because it'll have that fantasy kind of setting you know yeah, so you'll have yeah. more of that maybe more of that orchestrated stuff but because persona's music i always i'm sorry i forgive me guys i always forget the uh composer uh oh yeah say, who is the Shoji composer Maguro or something like that that sounds familiar sounds, yeah but that dude oh my god but they're 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 awesome like jazzy too is like put their style of music with like high fantasy kind oh of like God. orchestrated stuff you right. would have a really good mashup of like, like epic you know right that there. those orchestrations won't be messed up yeah. because they, atlas be knows so what much, they're doing like so much <laughs> character so much charm for it so yeah. much oh it's just be beautiful i'm very but, much looking forward to that soundtrack yeah. that's going to be epic yep. yeah no that's great but but i love how like talking about the music initially got us to a place where we're talking about shit that matters mm-hmm. because that's what video games do yeah they are. when they are. Yeah, yeah when they're not just like it's not like call of duty it's just like redundant killing and death matches yeah. it's like you know actually analyze some of these games you're playing yeah. you'll find that they're like like, like Persona and, 5 is a whole social commentary yeah. about like classism and stuff right you know? and yeah no rich, i literally named know? my party the working class on yeah. that <laughs> Yeah, like I did. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's it's literally incredible. Um, and I don't know, I just encourage anyone who's listening to like, yeah, like look at the video games you're playing and try to get something out of them. Mm -hmm. Like if there are dungeons that can make you weep. Yeah. Which like there are dungeons on there that have made me weep too. Yeah, seriously. Like seriously. Um the one with uh Futaba. Uh Futaba is Yeah, that one also that one made me die. best theme too <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So good. i know <laughs> such a good theme for the dungeon but yes that made me that made literally me oh man that yeah. was definitely i love games that give you that emotional you know yep. just ah oh, so good i know right they're like like i said in my first uh video in my video games and mental health series like they're the best juxtaposition between beauty and art problem solving epic music and storytelling yeah. video games are the only medium that has all four of those things yeah and not every game has those four things no, no. but Video games are the only thing, if there is something, to have those four things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you can't really problem solve in a movie. No. Nope. You can't problem solve in a book. No. Nope. It might be a choose your own adventure, yeah, but maybe. like you don't really like you're not solving problems. You're just picking where you want to yeah, go exactly. next, right? Um, and it's there's no music re- in a book. Written and everything. You know, yeah, you're right. And this whole thing up. Though. Yeah, like video games are the whole package, and this is why I will always die on this hill that like they're great for your mental health. But they are. They are. They're, yeah. People give them a lot of like flack for being addictive or something. And yeah. You know, I did a video about that too. And yeah, stuff. and it's like, nah, dude, no, that's not how it works. Right? Yeah, no. It's art, dude. It's art. It is that such is, art. That is yes. what you see it as. You, it's art. Yes, and like. You know, I mean, I mean, to play devil's advocate, yeah, you can absolutely become addicted to you video can, games, but you can. can become addicted to anything. Exactly. And like, if you're using video games properly, which I argue this in my video that I did about video game addiction, because I gave a panel at 2D Con mm-hmm. and somebody raised their hand to like ask me a question, but they didn't ask me a question. They were just like, I'm addicted to video games. And it's like causing me to like have bad relationships with my like partner here. And like, I barely have any friends outside of who I game with. And I was like, I don't really know what to say to you other than I think you need community in your life you Mm -hmm. need like real people in your life but then i did a whole video about it because i like felt bad that i couldn't give them a better answer like in the moment you know come up with something so yeah no exactly but yeah so like yes you can become addicted to video games but like they're a medium and if you use them for good they're amazing for you yeah so that's where i'm at (laughs) no i agree with that too i do i so wholeheartedly agree with that it's i love video games i know (laughs) 
literally the best. Yeah. So anything that you're looking forward to in, in the future? What am I looking forward to? Let's see. For maybe gameplay, soundtracks, or both? Uh, soundtracks, like I said, that one uh, RPG, that new action yeah, yeah, RPG, yeah, right. definitely want to check that out. Um, there's a few new beat em ups coming out. Okay. That uh, are, well, there's a G.I. Joe one, and there's going to be a Toxic Cru- uh, Toxic Crusaders one. Or okay. Toxic Avenger, you know. Whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Those, those two are coming soon, and I'm actually looking forward to the music too for those. Because usually beat em up games, like arcade beat em up games, they have really good soundtracks. Too. Yeah. For sure. I mean, Streets of Rage, Streets obviously. Of Rage, yeah. yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Dude, that, that yeah, the TMNT track? music is amazing. Didn't didn't David... No, no, no. David Wise didn't do the music. He did Battletoads. Sorry. Oh, I totally love Battle different. Toad. Totally different. But yeah, yeah, I get that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I get that in my head all the time. David Wise, what a guy. Good Seriously. music, man. Do, I, do, do, I hope do, to meet do, that guy someday. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. Uh, so I good. could just go on about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay, so TMNT, you were saying. Yep, yeah, TMNT. Um, yeah, the, I, I'm looking forward to those two. And then also another game I'm really looking forward to, even though I don't think it's going to have a remastered soundtrack, and if it does, I... I hope they do a good job of it, but Metal Gear Solid Delta. Ooh, yeah. Snake Eater. Yup. That song. That would be incredible. That's my, I, that's my go-to karaoke song. I dude. I sing that song so hard. I really hope I get to witness you sing that oh, someday. Oh, it's, it's, it's really epic. Oh my God, I love that. It is so <laughs> epic. I go hard that's on so that. so cool. I actually, fun fact, I have a remix of Snake Eater just sitting on my hard drive because yeah. I'm waiting for vocals. I was supposed to do it originally with the Arcadian. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like a metal guitarist. Yeah. He shreds. He's crazy. He's Hell awesome. Yeah. I was supposed to do it with him, but then he had some troubles in his life and had to quit music for a little bit. Oh, that's too bad. It is. Yeah. He's back now. Good. But in his absence, I was like, hey, man, I know we were going to do this originally, but do I have your permission to do it with somebody else? And that other person seemed really gung ho about it, but it's been like two years. Oh. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to do it. Um, and every time I've like sort of nudged them to be like hey do you got yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it just doesn't go anywhere so i approached the arcadian again okay and i said hey i mean this was ours originally you want to finish it and he was like yeah so that'll be coming soon hell yeah yeah and i'm really excited to hear his take on it because you know that song is sung by a female right, vocalist right. right and he's a male obviously right. so i think that'll give it a really cool flair i can't wait to hear that yeah i yeah. cannot I'm really wait pumped. to oh my god and so i think uh, it was her name was cynthia harthel yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say at MAGFest this year, she actually sang it live like, Don't with tell a band. Me this, man. I'm getting goosebumps <laughs> just hearing this. Yeah. I just hear this and my body's just like, woo. <laughs> oh I'm, my God. I wish it, I could have seen that. Oh. Yeah. I think it's on YouTube, actually. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was her, if I'm not wrong. Like, I, I heard rumors of, like, oh yeah, that was the original vocalist. And I was like, holy absolute crap. Her voice is so beautiful. Yeah. It's so good. It's so fun. Um, yeah, like, oh, is she, is she a black lady? I don't know. I okay, because the person who was there was, she was a black lady. Okay. And I'm like, they have better voices than anyone. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> they just beautiful do. voices. Man. Yeah, they're so the best. Bad. Like, they, I don't know. It's just something about the way they, their tonality, like, uh, nobody sings like black women. Like, seriously. So beautiful, dude. Yes, let's go, queens. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? I mean, I, I really like where this is going because, you know, it's just, it's shit that I talk about all the time anyways. Um, but we've never really done a podcast specifically on this i've just sort of like talked about all these ideas disparately in my videos but like never like in one piece of media yeah and it's really cool to talk with somebody who's just as enthusiastic about video game music because yeah we're we're on the rise i feel like the video game music scene is having a renaissance as of late i'd see i'd say that for sure especially because you know most of the people that are going to like events and stuff like that they're our age our age we're yeah we're old and you know we played on NES as we played on SNES you know we we have a whole history with video game music right. Yes. So, you know, we bring that back and everyone's like, oh, the nostalgia of this. This is so cool. And then you put yeah. some new twist to it and you're just right. like, this is... Like my hip hop mashups. Dude, it's like, when you hear them, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is literally like two birds with one stone. One. Like, it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and they work so well. Like, it's stupid how well they work. I cannot wait to like unleash these onto the world. I might do a whole like, like mixtape, mm. right? Of yeah. all these hip hop mashup VGM songs. That I think amazing. I think that would go off, that honestly. But we'll see. Yeah. And in part of that, I was thinking about literally like, because I think way ahead and, you know, all the stuff I do as a creator. And I was literally thinking like putting the caption as like, if making hip hop mashups is what it takes for you people to listen to VGM, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Everybody's like, 
everyone listen uh, to VGM, you guys. I listen know, right? to VGM. It so literally good. heals if you want it to. I really wanted to go to that Sonic Symphony. It was unbelievable. I bet. I yeah. bet. I'm glad you mentioned that. My, my friend went, and she's a big Sonic nerd, too. Oh, cool. You know, and uh, she was just sending me videos of the whole performance. That's amazing. Like, so cool. Do you know where she was sitting? She was. It looked like she was, like... Uh, center in the back. Oh, back that's center. awesome. So she had a good view. Yeah, I was probably right by them because I also was like back center, yeah, but I was cool. a little like I was on the left side of the center, if, mm-hmm. if, if you will. Yeah, we're talking about the Sonic Symphony, by the way, that just was in Minneapolis. It's on tour currently, I think still. I think it's still on tour. Yeah, yeah. Or it was at least. Well, by the time this episode airs, it probably won't be on tour still. Yeah. What's cause... cool, though, is that when it was playing at the Orpheum. Yeah. One day after Sonic the Hedgehog's birthday. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> And we all had chili dogs. Yep. Uh, <laughs> no, it was so great. It was a great concert. Um, Actually, funny story. So uh, the first act in that symphony was just the orchestra. Mm-hmm. And then there was an intermission. And act two, this rock band comes out to play all the like new Sonic stuff. Yeah. They were unbelievable. A. Was it Crush 40? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. If it was, holy shit. Yeah, Yeah, I don't think so. But the lead singer was somebody from a band called Lords of the Trident, who I performed with at Midwest Gaming Classic. Oh, no way. And, well, I mean, we didn't perform on stage together, but we were on the same bill, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And... That's the shit. Yeah, he walks out on stage, and I'm like, Ty? (laughs) Like, what? (laughs) Dude, it was crazy, and they killed it. Like, it was absolutely phenomenal. I saw some of the performances there, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was like, I wish I was there. And it gave me so many ideas. And they played Pumpkin Hill. Yeah. Can you believe that? Crazy. Deep cut. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love that. (laughs) So cool. Yeah. It gave me a lot of ideas to do, like, more metal dubstep songs. Oh, yeah. Because those are a lot of fun. And I actually just bootlegged the item room from Metroid Metal. Mm. So I took their remix and made a remix of their (laughs) It's just stupid. It's like remix inception. Anyways, yeah. Sonic music is incredible. Yes. There's a certain sound that it has that I, like, I can't put my finger on, but you know when it's Sonic music yeah and i love like that is the goal of any artist is you want people to know like that's this yeah you when mentioned you hear sonic music and i have like six different sonic tunes just playing yeah. in my head right now yeah you know, game other boy than hydrosity act 2 yeah you know, you know, got that i got some what zone was it it was in it's a game boy advance one i think it was uh Ooh, i never played any of those those are really fun i bet uh that is um i think it was sonic advance one it was like the second area it's like okay i don't know but I get that in my head too. I, I completely forgot what that theme was. There's some stuff from Sonic. Uh, what is it? Sonic Mania. Mm-hmm. Have you played that one yet? Um, I have not played it, but I think my nephew has beaten it, and he's like, "Please eight. listen so, to yeah. that one." <laughs> okay. It is by far like one of the. Oh, it's so good. Awesome. Because they 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 remixed a lot of the classic stuff too. Oh, cool. So like whatever like whatever stages because they have some classic stages, they have some new stages too. Yeah. So the new stages the music's phenomenal great music um and then for the classics the remixes for them the mm-hmm. the little new little styles they put in or twists or whatever you want us to do like yeah, mixes. Yeah. oh man it's so good love that i cried literally oh. i literally cried when hydro city act 2 played yes that's I amazing was so like overwhelmed with happiness i was just like this is the best and my nephew was there and he's like you good and i'm like yes i'm fine this is amazing <laughs> That's so cool. Now, with with that song specifically, which, okay, also, first off, before I go into what I was going to say, so you say Hydro City? It's, it's like Hydro City, Hydrocity. Yeah, but a lot of people, that it's like, fi- it's a fight it's a in fight, the nerd yeah. community. People are like, no, it's Hydrocity, and then other say people Hydro say, City. oh, man, I love this. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I've said it both ways, too, but lately yeah. I've been going more Hydro City, because, I mean, think about it. It's like a city, you know? Like right, a, with water. Yeah. Hydro City. No, I... I, I think it's hilarious. I just call it whatever I know is going to make people mad. So <laughs> <laughs> because I think it's a stupid debate. It's like caramel and caramel. But yeah, which are both legitimate pronunciations. It's not like potato potato. Oh, my God. I had salted caramel ice cream today and I just, oh, man, I destroyed it. You had it today? Yeah. Nice. It's uh, it's about, I gained 20 pounds. what is it? It's uh, 1.55 p.m. and I support that decision. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we live once. Come on, enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so sorry. Uh, Hydrocity. All right, so I remember that song clear as day. Mm -hmm. Uh, I played Sonic 3 and Knuckles on a PC. I did too. What? Yeah. I mean, I played it originally on the Genesis too, but I got a PC copy of it, right? And I was glued to that thing like for hours. I never played it on... I've never played it on a Genesis. Oh, really? I only played it on a PC. It was my uncle's PC. He lived uh, on the same block as me. So, okay. I grew up in like... 
Carmel, Indiana. Mm -hmm. It's like a northern suburb of Indianapolis. But the block that I grew up on was akin to like, I, I visited a I visited it a few times since I moved away and I'm like dang these homes are tiny it, it like it reminisces a trailer park and I'm not like talking shit about trailer right. parks but like that's what it looks like mm -hmm. right very tiny homes and I remember them being so big back in the day because I was a little kid right but he lived down the street my cousins were my only friends growing up and they only had certain days that they were allowed to play computer games okay um which you know looking back i think that's a good thing they also had days where they could only play educational games on the computer All right. right but then other days they could do whatever they want and we played a lot of sonic 3 and knuckles and yeah i remember mushroom hill zone yep. clear as day great, great theme too which i just did a remix of with dark prime and also that is another song that i did a hip-hop mashup with <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> i mashed it up with what's golden by jurassic 5 oh jurassic 5 really yeah yeah, yeah that you know the song that's like we're not balling or shot calling we take it back to the days of yes y'all oh that's God, the one that's i did it shit. with they're in the same well i had to transpose it down one step and then they were in the same key it's like nice. crazy yeah and then yeah hydrosity okay so i was approached by hypertunes to make this remix and I was like, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Sign me stems. And then they did. And I was listening to them. Um, I had a few drinks and I was listening to these stems and I was just playing them on a loop. And I like I closed my eyes and I was like in that moment, like I can put myself there literally even right now. Like I'm sitting at that desk. The kitchen is to the left. Their dining room table was to the right. Yeah, like it's so... Oh, it's so nostalgic for me, man. And like going back there makes me really appreciate like where I came from and where I am today. Mm. And all of that is unlocked with it, um, a video game song. Yeah. That memory is unlocked yeah. with that. That's that is the power it has. thing about it too is just, it's so fucking powerful that mm -hmm. it can like really keep these thoughts and like good feelings in you and never go away. You know, right. it's, just, it's just, it just really locks that in there. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It stays and it, you never forget it. Yep. My second memory in my entire life yeah. is watching my brother play uh donkey kong and hearing ice cave chant and i i put that in my visuals actually at vgm con because nice. i debuted a remix of ice cave chant there and uh yeah literally like in the visuals it was like my second memory in life yeah yeah oh my gosh when i'm done with secret of mana i'm gonna do the entirety of donkey kong country yes. yeah yeah she loves donkey kong country yeah. oh it's exciting yeah oh my god yeah great i'm trying to think of other vgm themes that i really just absolutely love i mean there's a lot i mean Mega Man themes are always good too oh yeah you were literally listening to what Mega Man 11 uh -huh. when you walked into my yeah, house yeah. yeah i was listening to Mega Man 11 and uh you know sometimes i feel like Mega Man 11 might have a little bit of that same kind of like tune melody you know syndrome a little bit yeah because some of it does sound the same but once you start listening to it more and more it's just like okay Okay, I can, yeah. I can catch the little sudden nuances here and stuff like I that. I like that. You, know? you gotta be a connoisseur, yeah, as it yeah. were. But Mega Man music sounds so unique. It does. It does. To it does. itself, right? Like, you know it's Mega Man when you hear it. Like <laughs> Just like with Sonic. You know it's Sonic, you know exactly. it's Mega Man. Exactly, which, God, I, I love that about certain soundtracks. Yeah. And you know that about DKC when you hear that. And like, I mean, even Mario, too. You know it's Mario oh, yeah. music when you hear it, too. Totally, because it's so happy and like... <laughs> yeah, that stuff, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I, what they started with New Super Mario Brothers, and then it's so it it gets stuck in your head because yeah. like you're just randomly you're doing something, you know, you're just working or something, and you're just like do 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 do. It's like pop pop. Like what happened? <laughs> Where did this come from? How did I? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's dude. so. It's so recognizable. Zelda music, so recognizable. Yeah. Metroid music, yep. so recognizable. Metroid is just ominous. <laughs> Heck, you can even you can even make the argument Metroid Prime music, yeah. so, so recognizable because yeah. that has its own flair to it as well. I mean, that was done by a Western AAA developer mm -hmm. too. And you yep, know, yep, retro, yeah. And you know they they did a really fucking good job. So at that. good, it's really good. You excited for four? Yeah. I, speaking of crying. When that trailer dropped, I cried because <laughs> I have been waiting for that game for what now? like 14 years and it's been a long ass time because like i bought so you know metroid prime 3 corruption yep. that was the last metroid game released on the wii yep. right so i'm thinking in my head oh yeah they'll release a, a metroid game on the next system so i bought a wii u mm -hmm. we didn't get that didn't get anything you know you got your marios you got your zeldas but i didn't get we my got metroid. star fox i was so disappointed in that game yeah like star fox it is great yeah star fox That's music another one, yeah, yeah star like fox music. You even oh uh, yeah God, I love the uh, the menu theme uh, for the original Star Fox. Mm -hmm. It's so ethereal. And that was on that space music compilation, yeah. by the way. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, super sick. But yeah, so bought a Wii U, nothing. Yeah. Bought a Switch, right? We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there, right? But like, I, it's like 14 years I've been waiting for this Watch, game. Watch, though. Here's what I'm worried about, though. Yeah. Watch. 
Metroid Prime 4 finally comes out, we got a Switch 2 happening. That's it's probably right. going to happen. That's how I'm seeing it. I can almost guarantee you I that's have, what's yeah, going to happen. What and they're going to use that as like a launch title right? or something. Because yeah. I feel like it's it's kind of getting near the, the end of the Switch lifespan. Yeah. I love that thing. I, know, I really I do, do love that thing. But and it's like, like, how can they improve on the Switch? I don't know. But I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they could take some cues off of the Steam Deck, sure. But Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know if Nintendo would be brave enough to do I that, though. I don't know either. Yeah. I mean, they're the, kind of pe- they're the kind of developers that, like, they like to come up with their own, like, way of play. Because mm-hmm. they're not, I don't know, they, they like to... They're, they're that one company that, like, they, they do their own thing and everyone still loves them. Yeah, they don't conform to society's yeah, standards. Exactly. And I love that about yeah, them. Yeah, and the yeah. whole console war thing, you're either Xbox or PlayStation, and then you got a Nintendo as the neutral. Right, yeah. Everyone has a Nintendo <laughs> know, as the right? neutral, you know? Exactly. That's, that's, the, that's the common ground. We all love Nintendo. But just, like, playing, yeah, playing games on my Switch does not feel the same as it does playing them on, like, my PlayStation 5 upstairs. It I, doesn't feel the same. It, I'll agree with that, too. Yeah. It doesn't. And I think one big thing, for me is because achievements slash trophies going after that stuff is so rewarding yeah it is it is (laughs) makes you feel so damn good when you get the (laughs) platinum or the whatever the xbox equivalent is but yeah that's that's the thing that's usually whenever like okay oh risk of rain (laughs) oh yeah i know risk of rain that's another one great soundtrack oh who did somebody did a cover on main stage at Magfest this year, Risk of Rain. I think it was Abandoned Quest, or maybe it was Lacey. I don't know. I don't remember who exactly did a cover, but somebody did on main stage, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. I love the Risk of Rain games. But uh, ri- the first Risk of Rain game got remade. Okay. Got a whole new remake, and it got put on the Switch. It's on Switch and PC at the moment. Cool. And I was like... Oh, I want this so bad. Yeah. But <laughs> I want it on my PlayStation because I'll be able to get my trophies, yeah, you know? Right. So, exactly, exactly. Uh, that's usually the case. The only game I really made the exception for through it was, of course, Streets of Rage 4. I got yeah, it on yeah. every platform. I'm thinking right. about getting it on my phone just that's so I can great. have it. <laughs> I'm like that way with Secret of Mana. Yeah, like, right? Had it for PS4, yeah. had it for my phone. I have a fake copyright there that that's is amazing. ginormous. Yeah, yeah that's right. amazing. I, I found that. that at Midwest Gaming Classic that two years so ago. That is so cool. Yeah. Anyways, it's so I'm the same way, yeah. so I got it. Yeah. You just got to have it you on have all the platforms. Yeah. yeah. If it's a game you really like. You yeah, know, you Japanese know. copies. <laughs> I have, let's see, what games do I have Japanese copies of? I have a Japanese copy of Rockman and Forte, so Mega Ooh, Man and Base. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's a good game. That's so cool. I want to collect a few other games. There's a series called Gambare Goemon okay. that I really want to collect. Got it. Never heard of it. But have you ever heard of the Mystical Ninja? Yeah. That's the game. Okay. It's that game. Got it. Mystical Ninja Goemon. And they're fun. They're fun. Yeah. They're really fun games. Cute music, too. Ah, uh, yes. Super cute music. Love that. Like Kirby cute? I would say so. Okay. Yeah, I'd say cool. around Kirby cute slash yeah. kind of like fun, like japanese festival style music oh yeah yeah okay it's really cool nice it's really yeah cool. and i know what you mean by that hell. wacky games i love wacky games too. yeah so yeah they're fun like warrior wear mm-hmm. okay oh my yeah. God, <laughs> that's Wario super wacky the sound effects in that game <laughs> yeah oh my god i'm playing the game boy Ooh. advance one and just the the sound of like one of the challenges where the nail comes down and goes yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just like every time and all of a sudden shuggy my partner she's like just out of nowhere we're just going hanging out and just yeah, 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 yeah. And i'm like what was that <laughs> Why are you doing <laughs> And then all of a sudden I want to play WarioWare. I'm like, okay. Yeah, right. Thank you for mentioning that. I need to get those sound effects and sample they're them. They're good. They're great sound effects. Yeah, that's they're a good really little, fun. like, you know, extra little. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing, all too. Right, you know? That, like, yeah, I'm glad we went on this train because, like, even the sound effects in video games are one of the most unique things about it. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone recognizes the Sonic Ring sound. Oh, yeah. You know, they use those at, like, the uh, gas stations? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, like, at the gas station and I got ringed up, you know, rung, rung up and. I was like, do 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 you know. You didn't just go Sega. No, I didn't go Sega. I went full on like yeah, Act that's One amazing. clear. You're like, I'm an OG. I know what this is. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. <gasps> yeah, yeah, no, like that. It's so recognizable and uh, just unique to the medium that is video games. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I just can't think of anything else that really captures. I think Target also does their walkie talkies or whatever. They have the Mario coin sound. Actually, it's the Mario coin from Super Nintendo. So oh, Super that's so Mario, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sounds like it's a little bit more of a softer, like, coin grab sound. Yeah, it's not quite as harsh and as I'm the like, NES one. Huh? <laughs> 
that's hilarious. Well, you hear, you hear it, like you hear it, just like okay, cool, I like yeah. that. You know, it's it's being more adapted in real life here. Yeah. So, see you guys, you gotta listen to your VGMs exactly, you know, and play more video games, play more classic games. Then you yes. get those sound effects. You'd be like, where'd that come from? See that? Okay, that is a cool part though about what I'm seeing in the world is that like my nephew is like obsessed with Sonic, Mm. you know, and like Mario is popular again because of the movie. You know, it's like, what will be, what will be made popular next? That was retro too, because now, uh, like, you know, all this new media that's coming out for video games and stuff, it's more pretty close to the original in a sense, like the games and stuff. They're not like, you know, 1993 Mario Brothers. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though that game is like, like that movie is like a cult classic now. Because it's so bad. Because it's so bad. Yeah, yeah it's so bad. It's good. <laughs> right. But like now, everything is becoming more closer to the source material, so it's 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 pretty damn enjoyable. I right. like that. And like and you know, animation angry. helps with that too, and how good animation is now. But sorry, I didn't mean no, to interrupt no, you're you. Fine. Yeah, you're fine. But I agree with that too. The animation yeah. as well. It's like, oh man, Mario Brothers was fun. It was so good. That was a fun movie. And all the references they put in were like so great they were nice they were great and i was i was really impressed with the sonic movies too yeah me too even even um what was it uh when they showed like the town where the dude what's the dude's name in that movie again the cop i forget his name but But anyways when they showed the town it literally said like green hill whatever and i was like that's cute that is nice (laughs) yep that's exactly what i thought too oh man and like in wreck it ralph you see all those references in there that was like that was like just a candy shop game references wonderful i loved it Ooh, wreck it ralph uh uh, mash up with candy shot by 50 cent <laughs> well there you go get to it <laughs> i know right good lord <laughs> oh my gosh anything else on your mind otherwise i think we could probably wrap up i mean we did talk a lot we've been we've been I, gabbing I loved it. and i dude this has been great yes, honestly absolutely. like you are so on my wavelength in so many ways and just i am thankful 2d con brought us together hell yeah hell yeah let's go i agree i agree yeah. but yeah no, I, what else do i got in my mind i'm playing games what are you playing right now um yeah what am i playing final fantasy 16 yeah i'm trying to beat persona 5 i'm stuck on the uh the ceo boss Mm. of the the food company because you have to beat all of the enemies at once and they run away and then he summons new ones and it's really hard rpgs can be tough yeah yeah um a point i make a lot about rpgs is that like if you can't beat something try it again in different ways yeah. and i relate that to real life yeah. as in like you know maybe you need to use more buffs <laughs> maybe you need to raise your attack on your party maybe you know maybe you need to go and grind a little bit yeah right but you've got to try again yet in different ways yeah, you because really, that, there's a point in strategy there right because just trying again in itself yeah that's honorable but like if you keep trying and you're still failing you've got to there's adapt. something you're doing wrong buddy yeah Let's let's try to work this out. Exactly. You've got to you like move on it. and adapt. But yeah, so I am currently in the process of doing that in Persona 5. Um, but I want to beat Final Fantasy 16 first because the story is just really it, like it was pretty boring in the beginning mm. and then it got really good okay. like out of nowhere um yeah and so i'm trying to beat that right now yeah, I really and then play 16 too the, the, yeah. the pro tag is hot as fuck so i'm like I need to- yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah everyone in that game is well not everyone i should say but like a good hunk of people yeah in that like game clive jill like, like, oh, young. like oh my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, and then let's see, we talked about Metroid Prime 4, which I'm looking forward to, uh, but then Visions of Mana is coming out soon, oh. and uh, I'm remixing the entire Secret of Mana soundtrack right now, and yeah, I'm excited to hear uh, Hiroki Kakuda's new compositions in that game. That is, that is really fucking cool. I, I would, I would Yeah, really because too. it'll probably be on the orchestral side, I'm guessing, just because it's a new game, mm-hmm. but you know he's not going to mess that up. Oh, yeah. Because he's such a great musician. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I actually have my second Secret of Mana album done, mm. uh, my two out of three, uh, but I'm waiting for a release date because I want the algorithm be, to be in my favor, mm-hmm. like for once in my life, right? Because I make deep cut stuff. Yeah. I don't just remix Pokemon or Mario Kart stuff, right? <laughs> so, like, I want the you algorithm need Star to Tropics, be. Star Tropics, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In in uh, in my most recent video that I'm editing right now, but it'll probably be out by the time this episode is out. It's about The Sims, mm. hyper attention, and my angst for social media and like overconsumption and stuff. But yeah, I put my uh, dungeon and subsea mashup remix in there as like a background song. I'm yeah. still I'm still impressed that you had you had a Star Tropics. Mix. <laughs> I was just like, holy shit, dude! It yeah, Star Tropics is the bomb. It is like also, a great game. um, yeah, you weren't at VGM Con this year. No, I, I, I I debuted a uh, Overworld um remix. Yeah, just the boop boop. 
boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Oh, so I've got nice. that as well. Yeah, I'll show that to you after. I have to, I have to, I have to introduce you to my bestie because he, <laughs> he loves Star Tropic. Awesome. Is it the same one who loves Metroid? Or? Yeah, same, same one. Yeah. Wow. People yeah. have to and, and he makes VGM too. So. Wait, wait, really? Yeah, he does VGM. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You need to meet him. Yeah. Does he live here? Yeah, he lives here. What? He's in just like in St. Anthony, yeah. Okay. Why haven't I? Uh, what? I, I haven't seen him in. He's playing Destiny right now. And oh, that game okay. takes his life. Yeah, so I, it's like, <laughs> I get it. You, you know, he works nights, but Destiny, when he gets home, and then he's on that for days and days, and then you never yeah. see him. And I'm just like, hello. <laughs> Where you at, dude? Bestie. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> That's hilarious. What is his name again? His name is, I call him Uzi. His name is Uzi. Uzi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uzi. Call him Uzi. Cool. Sweet Uzi, yeah, one day. That is really cool. Does he make like EDM VGM or like what? What does he do? He just kind of does his own thing. Okay, okay. He does his own thing. He's more of a kind of jazzy kind of guy. Respect. That's you know? amazing. Yeah, he does yeah. more jazzy stuff, but you know, he'll he'll he'll, he'll mess around with genres. Yeah, that's really cool. I always seek out those kind of people that make different stuff for me, so that we can collab and like yeah. put our art styles together. Yeah. And it's always really cool. Probably be cool inspiration for him. Too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because he makes some really fun mixes. I love. That's I cool. love listening to him. He also does his own original stuff, and out of nowhere, I don't know. He said that he there was this like Sesame Street computer toy that had like this okay. like some sound clips that yeah. he got stuck in his head he said and so he made a remix of that <laughs> oh i have to hear that that's so creative we get it in our head and we're just like we just blurt it out out of nowhere and i have to hear that it is hilarious it is so funny cool there's a lot of links you gotta send to me when this is done yeah including <laughs> i'll that, have to see if i can find info. a street fighter mix too because he did an anniversary one oh, uh, back cool. on the 20th anniversary for street Fighter. yeah uh-huh yeah it was really good oh that's amazing you need yeah, to do cool. some more you need to do street fighter stuff yeah agreed agreed um i'm in a hopefully coming up to a position where i can be producing a lot more awesome um i i make all of my like content I'm putting that in air quotes because, you know, content is content, art is art. Mm -hmm. um, I, I make all my content well far in advance so that I can schedule it out yeah. and then just like binge in the studio. I actually just got these new headphones that mimic different mixing environments. So like one is like a really nice studio. One oh, okay. is like an audio file room. One is like a club. So you can hear how your music would sound in a club. Oh, that's cool. It's They're so dope. Right. Um, so I got those yesterday, literally. And yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, to see how those will improve my mixes in the future but yeah anyways um i am itching to produce again yeah so. i'm i'm really excited to hear this yeah yeah buying new gear always makes you it does want to it produce. does that's like me and art supplies you <laughs> yeah, buy new art yeah. supplies you're just like i can't wait to use this right exactly you know? exactly I'm so psyched about it yeah yeah oh, good stuff so yeah um i guess to wrap it up uh video game music heals and if it you don't does. think that you need to reevaluate. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Everything. yes, you need yeah. to. Grab yourself an old school console, hit up a cartridge, put it in, go into the sound setting or sound test mode or whatever it is, and just listen to it listen on the original hardware. It is just to it. beautiful. So, so beautiful. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining me. Hell yeah. This was great. I know, we've been wanting to do this for so long. Yeah, we literally. Did. We've been talking about it for, what, like a year? Yeah. Yeah, maybe longer. Yeah. I don't know. But I had so much fun. This has been great. Yeah, right? I yeah. want to come back yeah. again, so great. let me know whenever great. you want yeah. me to have me again. When uh, when the cycles... Uh, what what am I gonna say? The cycles uh, turn over. Yeah, like absolutely would love that. to have yeah. you back. Yeah, yeah awesome. All right, cool. Well, hey, this has been the Quest Within. Um, yeah, we'll see you in a couple months. <laughs> see you guys. Peace. Hey. This is the Quest Within. Okay.